and welcome back. Robbie and I are working on whole numbers and fractions. Come work through it with us. Anytime the numerator of a fraction equals the denominator of the fraction, we have one whole. This is because we have the same number of pieces filled in as the number of pieces we have. For example, here we have four pieces and each is filled in. This shows four fourths, or one whole. Now if we had two of these, we would have eight fourths. This is equivalent to the whole number two. What if we had three? Now we have 12 fourths, which is equivalent to the whole number three. Let's look at another example. This time we have thirds. If I have three thirds, I have the whole number one. Now if I have another set of three thirds, I have six thirds in total. This is equivalent to the whole number two. So anytime you have a full fraction, it is a whole number. That's right, Robbie. And your numerator can be bigger than your denominator, but it just means that you have a number greater than one. Right again, Robbie. Another important concept to keep in mind with whole numbers and fractions is that a whole number on its own is always over one. For example, if you had the number five and wanted to turn it into a fraction, the denominator would be one. Any whole number written as a fraction is over one. So if I wanted to turn the number 63 into a fraction, it would be 63 over one. Right again, Robbie. You are a fraction robot rock star. Thanks, I learned from the best. I think these kids are ready to practice on their own. Good luck.